African savanna during the dust storm. Water's there, but it's really hard to find. Oh, you've got the ball. Thanks. Here you go. Hey, where <laughs> are you going with the ball? <laughs> All this dust is making me thirsty. Well, let's call Zabu. He's always ready for some cool fruit and juice. Zabu, Zabu, Zabu. Hi, buddy. What do you feel like doing, Zabu? Looks a little hot. Yeah, but I know it'll cool down. Apples are a great snack on a dry day like this one. That's because they're loaded with juice. Fruit's another great way of getting water when you're really thirsty. Whoa, all this juice from just one apple. Come on, Zob, we have apples today. Oh, I needed that. Yeah. So is that quenching your thirst? I was one thirsty lemur. Is my mind imagining things, or is it dry in here? No, you're not imagining things, Zabu. It is dry. Even the pond is dried up. Oh, it was dry on my way here. I saw two creatures looking for water. I know who they are because I've met them before. Let's see if you can guess. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> Sandy colored and they looked really dry, but they couldn't find any water. Who could it be? This animal who I didn't see. You've met these two baby big-eyed creatures before, but this time they're thirsty. Colored cub creatures. Do you know who they are? Two big round eyes each with an itch to play. <laughs> yep. Hey, Chris. What's Martin talking about? I'm right here. Hey, Martin. <laughs> My brother going crazy. Now he's calling himself. <laughs> no, Chris. Not Krat Brothers, Chris and Martin. Lion Cubs, Chris and Martin. <laughs> We're back. Yeah. I'm Gatsiko. Oh, mystery animals here. <laughs> this Chris? Huh? And that Martin. <laughs> Wait a second, that's Martin and that's Chris. Oh, brothers, that's Chris and that's Martin. How do you know, Zabu? Because well, they told me, of course. You guys should listen better. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what have you guys been doing since you were last here? Yeah, remember last time Chris and Martin the Lion Cubs came to visit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they played nonstop. Yeah, they played so much, they got really thirsty. Don't remind me, Zav. It's so dry in here. I think I need a drink. But no time for that now. It's playtime! Playtime! Oh, playtime is all the time. Yeah. He's got the towel. 
gosh, he has a pretty strong grip with his mouth. Whoa, whoa, so does Mark. Whoa, he sure likes lemur's tails to play with. <laughs> I meant to do that. Hey, Martin, where are you going? What's the matter? Hey, Chris and Martin, where are you going? Huh? What's up? No, not Crack Brothers, Chris and Martin. Lion Cubs, Chris and Martin. Oh. Chris and Martin are over by the pond. They're thirsty, but the pond's dry. Yep, they need water. The hot sun can make a lion really thirsty. So, nighttime is when the lions prowl. And the cubs can get into some really raucous play sessions at night. They romp and roll. But even in the cool of night, they still need a good cool drink after a long play. There's nothing that cools off a hot lion cub like some cool H2O. H2O? Yeah, H2O. That's the scientific name for water. Water. Nothing would survive without it, Zabu. Did you know that water covers nearly three quarters of the whole Earth? There are lots of streams, rivers, and lakes on the planet, but the ocean makes up most of the world's water, about 93%. So, H2O is the scientific name for water. I didn't know that. H2O is the scientific name for water. You gotta know H2O, yes. All creatures need water, and not just for drinking. Creatures need water for all sorts of things. Hmm. Fish live in water their whole lives. From the tiniest minnows to the biggest tropical fish, water means life. Fish bodies are specially designed to live in water. A lot of fish have fins to help them swim. And they have gills on the side of their necks. See those gills? The water goes past the gills and the gills take oxygen out of the water for the fish. We have to do something. These cubs need water. Well, that's easy. When I get thirsty, I have a bunch of yummy green leaves. Hey, Chris, Martin, you want some leaves? Huh? What's up? Oh, not Crack Brothers, Chris and Martin. Lion Cubs, Chris and Martin. But, Sheesh. Zub, not all creatures get their water from fruit and leaves like you do. These lions need some water, so we got to find them something to drink. You know, almost every creature needs water to survive, and these lion cubs need water. Fast. Great idea, Chris. Huh? No, not you, Chris. The lion cub, Chris. The hose. This is where we can get the water to give the cubs a drink. What do you think, Zob? Yeah, great idea, but I want to test the water first. All right, here you go. Thanks. Turn on the H2O. All right, any second now. Oh, Hang on. Huh? Ooh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, that sure is scratchy water. <coughs> Right, Chris? Well, let me tell you a story about some real water in Sabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. And I thought I'd leap over the pond when suddenly I was grabbed blow, by a giant tentacle. Phoebe said, Hi, Zabu. Bet you didn't expect that. No, I didn't, I said. But since I'm here, why not go for a swim? Hey, Slimantha. Why don't you come for a swim with Phoebe and me? No, I don't think so, Zabu. I'm afraid of the water. Afraid? But why, I asked. Well, I don't know what's in here. Yeah. What? Hey, Slimantha, don't be afraid. Why don't you come and see my underwater home? Yeah, it's really great. Well, okay, since you asked. So Slimantha did a spinning back twist in a jelly roll cup. And I did a full twisting double back from the pipe position. And we played in Phoebe's underwater home all day and had lots of fun. Yay. The end. Oh, no. The cubs are still thirsty. Well, they need more than a story about water. They need to drink water. Ah, it's too bad we couldn't just make some water. That's it. I can't believe my mind. Let's make some water. Why not make a super soaper water machine? Great idea, Zabu. Let's build it. <laughs> okay. Where's that funnel? Here it is. Oh. All right, looking good. Yeah, we're almost there. And the final ingredient, a cool mountain lake. 
Picture's in. Time to fire it up. Boss it ready. Set to water. What's up? Oh, what? Uh, why are there bubbles? Oh, no. Brothers, where's the water? Huh? Oh, no. Brothers? Chris, I think we gotta get back to the drawing board. Yeah, this isn't working right. What's going what? on? But don't worry, line cubs. We'll get water for you. I think. Oh, oh. for dropping by, Zombie. Well, thanks, Martin. Hey, Chris, bubbles are fun. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like got the hat on. <laughs> oh, we still need to get Chris and Martin some water to drink. Yeah, they're thirsty. Oh, they're so thirsty, they don't even want to play with my tail anymore. Ow. What we really need is some rain. Rain? Look, it's see, that's it. I'll do a rain dance that I learned in Madagascar. Yeah. I gotta see this. <laughs> Rana Mafana, Rana Mafana. That's what we need, and that's what we wanna. Nothing. <sighs> Rana Mafana, that means water in Madagascar. Rana Mafana, Rana Mafana. That's what we need, and that's what we wanna. Something's happening. Yeah, clouds are moving in. Hubba hubba, run a mafana. That's what we need, and that's what we wanna. Wait a second. This isn't rain, this is fog. <laughs> Keep on chanting, Zabu. <laughs> Do it for the cubs. Run a mafana, run a mafana. That's what we need, and that's what, what we wanna. Uh-oh. Huh? This time we got snow. <laughs> Keep chanting, Zabu! We need rain! Rana Mafana, Rana Mafana. That's what we need, and that's what we wanna. It's raining! All right! It's working! It's working! We finally made some rain! <sighs> well, we've got all the water. Time to drink. <laughs> Let's go find the water, guys. Fantastic! The pond is full of water again. And the cubs know it too. They're finally filling their bellies. All right, we finally got some water for the lion cubs. <laughs> and they love it. How is it? Wet and cold. Chris and Martin are sure thirsty. Well, I've never seen creatures drink so much. <laughs> hey, I want to do that. What do you think of that? We just don't drink that. Like, do you think? <laughs> I'm yeah. feeling lion cubbish. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel lionish. How about you, lionish? I feel lionish. Lion up, lion down. I'm a thirsty lion cub all around. Lionish. Bye, Chris. Bye, Martin. What do you mean? We're not going anywhere. Oh, not Krat Brothers. Lion cubs, Chris and Martin. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Chris. Chris. Bye, Bye, Martin. Martin. <laughs> Where are you guys going? What are you talking about? <laughs> Incoming. Duck! It's not a duck. It's Sticky Feet. The Peregrine Falcon, with a message from the animal helpers. Hi, Krat Brothers. Hi, Zabu. There's something my goldfish needs every week. I know it's hard to believe, but my goldfish needs a bath. Well, not my goldfish, but his aquarium. You know how you have to clean your room? Well, same with goldfish. First, take out some water from the tank and put it in a bowl. Then gently put your fish in the bowl. After that, I empty most of the water. Then you scrub all the sides. It's easy.
Make sure everything is rinsed well before you put it back in. Now you have to wait for the water to get to the right temperature for the fish. And then you can put your fish back in the tank. There you go, Fred. Happy swimming. Hey, look! More water creatures! Yeah, Zob. Now that the pond's full of water, Animal Junction's a watering hole again. Everybody's dropping by for a swim and a drink. Amazing! A black spotted newt and a rope fish. A mudskipper's a fish that can live out of water too. Cool. A ram's horn snail. And baby alligator. I think there's a frog on my head. You want to get back in the water? It's a marine toad. Ponds, yep. rivers, and streams are <laughs> great places to look yep. for creatures. Sounds like a trip to me. <laughs> to the closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff. <laughs> I guess the closet got some of Zabu's Madagascar rain dance water in it. <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from later, the Zabu. closet and they're headed out the door. We're here in Africa, checking out creatures living around H2O. Yeah, and I'd like to find some H2O pretty soon. The sun is intense. Oh, yeah. Whoo, it's hot out here. Yeah, I'm thirsty. Where's the watering hole? I don't know. The problem is, we don't have the noses that can smell water like some of the creatures out here. Well, if we don't have the noses, let's follow the noses. Elephants. Now those are some noses that are good to follow. Head that way, Chris. An elephant's nose is so good, it can smell water from about 20 miles away. <laughs> They know exactly where the water is. They're all headed in the same direction, and, yup, there's the watering hole. Looks like this watering hole's pretty crowded. Yeah, it could be a long time before we get our turn. I'm getting thirstier just watching them. An elephant is a huge creature, so she needs a huge amount of water to drink and to keep her cool. She swings her trunk in the water, sucks up as much as she can, and <laughs> shoots it into her mouth. But before you can take a drink, you gotta get into position. Look at the way they're bumping each other out of the way, taking their turns having a drink. Ow, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> Now, once the elephants clear out, other animals can get a chance to drink. A hyena is a smaller creature. He knows he can't muscle into a herd of elephants. So, he'll just have to wait patiently until the elephants have had their fill. And so will we. Chris, the hyena, and I aren't the only ones waiting. The impalas are waiting for their chance to get a drink, too. There go the elephants. And now everybody else can get a chance. The hyena's first for some H2O. I hope he's finished soon so we can... Uh-oh. Here come the kudu. And he's got some other creatures hanging on his back. Check out how the oxpeckers pick bugs off the kudu's ears while they're drinking. And there's a lot of other birds down here, too. Cape sparrows, gray-headed sparrows. Whoa, and now a family of baboons. Oh, here's a creature that has a great drinking style, giraffes. She has to spread her front legs really wide to get low enough to the water. The warthog's a kneeling drinker. Hey, something's up. What? Hey, everybody's clearing out. And that's why a lion. When she comes to the watering hole, the other creatures give her plenty of space. Yeah, if there's a watering hole around, a lion will visit it pretty often. She needs about one and a half gallons of water a day. Hey, it looks like a spot's opened up. It's about time. Let's go. 
Finally, we can have something to drink. Ugh, this water's gross. We can't drink that. Unless we use our super deluxe water purification system. Here's how it works. You put this end in the water here, and then you pump the water through the purifier. And it comes out clean the other side. We have drinking water. Yes, water is life. <laughs> OK, anytime. Sounds like Zabu's having fun. Are. Come on. <laughs> Look who's here. Blish and Splash, the penguins. Now those are two H2O loving creatures. It's penguin playtime in the pool. <laughs> yeah, and penguins can dive deeper and stay underwater longer than any other water bird. Hey, that was a pretty short swim. Yeah, especially for a penguin. But for some reason, these penguins don't want to swim in our pool. I'll test the water. I don't know why, the water's great. Wait a second, we know this. The water's too warm for the penguins, remember? Penguins love cold water because that's where the fish are. Yeah, I know you like cold water, but I didn't think of that when I made it rain. Hey, if the water's too warm, maybe we can get that water machine to cool the water. It wasn't very good at making water, but maybe it can make ice. Great thinking. We'll just start it up again. This time, cool coils in place. Hey, guys, I, I got an iceberg you can put in. Well, okay, it's just a picture of an iceberg, but go ahead. <laughs> Whatever works. Yeah. Activate Isofire. And initiate freeze drop. I can't believe my mind. Splish and splash. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it worked. Now to check if it's cold enough. I'll try it out. It's cold enough, all right. <laughs> and it tastes awful. That's salt you're tasting, Zabu. Penguins swim in salt water. Too bad they can't get rid of the taste. Oh, hey, it worked, it worked. Penguins are going in the water now that it's cold enough for them. <laughs> what Munga Tsika swimmers? <sighs> Penguins look like they're flying underwater. Cold or not, I'm diving in too. <laughs> that reminds me of one time in Zabula Land. I was leaping along, leap. Weep, weep, but then I stopped because I decided I wanted to go up to the top of Mount Zabumufu. But then Wiggy flew by. <laughs> I want to go too, Zabu. I want to go too. Oh, but Wiggy, it's very cold on the top of Mount Zabumufu. That's okay. I have fur to keep me warm, but it's too cold up there for you. Now my feathers will keep me warm, Zabu. Oh, okay then. Let's go. Oh, oh, Zabu, oh. I want to go too. But Google, it's very cold on Mount Zabumafu. Oh. Well, Wiggy has feathers to keep her warm, oh. and I have fur to keep me warm. Oh. But it's too cold up there for you. Oh, oh it's no problem, Zabu. I've been eating googleberries <laughs> all day, so my fat will keep me warm. <laughs> oh yeah. All right then. Let's go. Oh, oh, but I might need some help. Oh, oh, oh. oh thanks, Wiggy. So we climbed and climbed and climbed. <laughs> And as we climbed, it got colder and colder. But our fur, feathers, and fat kept us warm. And then we heard a friendly voice. Oh, hey, everybody. Oh, hi, hi. It was Snow Lemur. Hey, Snow Lemur. Uh, come on up, come on up, everybody. Come on, everybody. Oh, I love it when visitors come. And we all jumped around and had a lot of fun. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> You're happy now, huh? You like that. Oh, yeah, you can tell she's happy because she's starting to bathe. Come on, guys. Everybody's in the pool. Let's go. Ah, it's freezing. Wow. <laughs> this is cold, Zabu. <laughs> That's just right. How All of us penguins. How do you do it? Penguins have lots of fat. That helps keep them warm in the cold water. Look, Martin's age doing. <laughs> cool one, Martin. <laughs> How are you doing? Great. Time to get out. Where's everyone going? Penguins are done, and this water's too cold for us.
have to say, go make an animal friend today. Yeah. I gotta go, guys. Bye, Splish and Splash. Bye, brothers. See you later, Zavu. See you later. And we'll see you later, too. Hi, my name's Samantha. This is Cece. She's a golden retriever. <laughs>